Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering the AWS Accenture Executive Summit. Brought to you by Accenture. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of the AWS Executive Summit here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. We have two guests for this segment. We have Michael LeBeau, he is the Global Managing Director, Accenture Cloud Platform, and Chris Mikulski, Enterprise at Architect at ETS. Thank you both for coming on theCUBE. Great to be here, Thanks. thank you. Great to be here, yeah. So Chris, I'm going to start with you. Sure. Um, ETS, the world's largest non-profit educational testing service. Give, us, give our viewers a little history. Sure, we're the gorilla in the uh, test assessment industry. So, so uh, ETS, Educational Testing Service, has been around since the 1940s. We do, uh, we, we, our mission is to advance the quality and equity in education through test assessments, through research, and related services. So a uh, big thing of what we do is just to try to uh, find out more about the state of education in the world, in the United States, and then do what we can to, uh, to improve that. So um, ETS has grown up with, um, to relate this to uh, Accenture and everything, ETS has grown up uh, with IT, we've been around since the 40s, and so uh, we've used traditional IT for quite a long time. And over time, we uh, we realized obviously that there's constraints and stuff like that on, on um, uh, some of the traditional IT. So we understood that we needed to figure out ways to become more competitive, to stay a leader in the industry, to innovate, innovate faster. So uh, that's how we ended up uh, engaging Accenture, and. Um, working on an effort to uh, migrate to the cloud and uh, give, us, give ourselves capabilities to become more innovative. So, the, the, so you're talking about this yeah. need to innovate, this yeah. need to stay competitive and ahead of the crowd. Right. So, so why, so, so tell me, you, you announced a big partnership with Accenture this morning, yep. uh, a, a large transformation project. Do you want to tell, tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, no, absolutely. So yeah, yeah this has been the, uh, Chris has been the principal architect ah, yes. driving yeah. that whole agenda yeah. you know, for, for, for some time. Sure. And so, you yeah. know, why, why Accenture? Why look to the outside mm -hmm. in order to partner with somebody in order to realize that innovation. Yeah, so I'll give you a little bit of history on that. So back in, uh, like, we've been for years actually messing around with things in the cloud, trying out Amazon and everything, and we quickly realized after doing some POCs and pilots that there's a lot to this. It's not just going to be a trend and it's not just a fad that's, you know, uh, out there and everything. Um, but it's hard, it's tough. And so what we needed is we needed uh, somebody who uh, had the capabilities, the experience, the knowledge, uh, the history of doing this already before. And uh, so in around 2017, we engaged Accenture already early on. They helped give us some foundational understanding about movement to the cloud. And then over time, um, uh, we decided, yeah, you know what? We really need a lot more help with this. We need a managed service provider in the mix. We need capabilities to migrate to the cloud. We need uh, help with security, that kind of thing. And ultimately though, the big goal here is, you know, to be more agile, to be more innovative, and we have to do it fast, and we have to do it at scale. So, um, so yeah, so we did our, our due diligence, we looked around, and um, after talking to Accenture, it was clear to us that, uh, you know, they had that capability. They, so that's why Accenture. So yeah, tell me a little bit about yeah. what Accenture, how, how, what this partnership what are entails. To it? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, what are no, you bringing to the table question. in helping ETS achieve its goals? Yeah, oh no, absolutely. So, you know, we, we've been partnered for a while, as Chris indicates, and you know, what you realize is there's a journey. Uh, you know, you know where, you, since 1940, right, you have this IT organization, you know, you're delivering whatever set of value and capability to the business, but the business is hungry, yeah. right? The leadership wants to innovate, they want to do new things, but they can't. And so they realize that and, you know, they, if you move kind of on your own, you move slowly. And if speed is of the essence, which for most organizations it is, um, then what, what do you need? Well, you need you know, the, the tools, uh, the capabilities, the skills, you know, you, ha you have to, you know, trust somebody, you know, to, 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 to enable that vision. And it's kind of like, you know, if you're a surgeon, mm -hmm. right, you know, do surgery, right? <laughs> we'll right. do everything else um, in order to enable you to spend time innovating. And so what we bring is the, the whole strategy, the business case development as part of the journey, you know, we show what we can do, kind of where you are today, and where you will be quickly, 
Uh, we can migrate and transform the workload. And so, so when we talk about this relationship, it's the whole end to end, but it doesn't stop there, right? So it's not just kind of, you know, what, you know, what we should build, how we should build it, the architecture. It's not just, you know, moving the workload into the cloud. It's then running it securely, yep. as Chris pointed out, and uh, to optimize it, you know, so that it's not just this whole notion of DevOps and agility, those terms are tied together. Yep. So we want to enable the agility, all right, but we, we want them to be able to then leverage it. You know, go direct to Amazon, go direct to any other provider, you know, enjoy you know, the innovation that we're hearing about this week and leverage all that. Yeah. So this is, this is the, the key thing. And so this partnership it, you know, creates the ETS cloud platform. Yep. It's, it's their basis, their foundation to now innovate and enable their broader business so that they can bring you know, new capabilities to education. So I'm, I'm so excited, right? This is such a great partnership yep. and, and the outcome is going to be so, so um, important, I think, to, to, the, to, to ourselves, right? To, to our communities. So it's, it's great stuff. Uh, the last thing though is we want to de-risk this. So the point here is that how you package all that, all right, so we have something called Accenture Prime. Um, not, to, not to offend uh, my, my, my friends. <laughs> uh, I've heard of another Prime right? before. Yeah, right. so, so this is about how Accenture is priming the capacity, the services, and being on point for ETS. So one throat to choke, kind of. All right, so you can, you know, that's my throat. Mm -hmm. And so I'm here to make sure he's successful. Yep. And, and the organization is successful. And that's really the point. So you know, everything from the, the tooling, uh, the cloud management capabilities, to set the policies, the security, cost manage, the, the you know, cloud management services, uh, the cost in cloud optimization, and the contracting is all through Accenture. Yeah. One stop shop. All right, and that's what we're here for. Yep, and that's really important to us because you know ETS is our goal isn't to be out there and be the best uh, at you know creating the cloud, building a cloud environment, migrating to the cloud, managing the service of cloud and secure. We want to do what our core competencies are in furthering education and um, you know advancing the quality of it, and so. Uh, uh, Accenture allows us to, uh, to do that. They, they are the, the enabler. So we can now, uh, we don't have to worry about that part. So, you know? I, so I love this, that, that Accenture yeah. is really allowing you to do surgery or really to, to actually focus on the testing. And so yeah. how, are, with, with Accenture taking care of you, enabling you, yeah. how are you now innovating? What are sort of the, the, the goals and aspirations on the table now that Accenture, because they're in the background helping you. Sure. So. So yeah, we're going to be um, able to do more things in the mobile space. We're going to work uh, in uh, furthering their capabilities in doing data analytics. Uh, we want to, I mean, oh my goodness, the, the conference, you know, it's all about artificial intelligence. There's a whole lot of stuff on that. We need to figure out how are we going to do that and how are we going to use that to get better information to again, accomplish that mission to further quality of and equity in education. So uh, the, the capabilities and the speed at which we're going to be able to do things is just very exciting. And it, what's really cool is uh, that you see it in people. They, they see the change at ETS already and they know what's coming. And so uh, it's already fostered this new uh, and renewed feeling of uh, uh, creativity and uh, it's becoming pervasive and, and so you feel it. Everybody's coming up with new ideas and you know, we're trying out new things and with, with the help of Accenture, we're going to be able to do that like a lot faster and, and in, in volume. And, uh, and another thing I didn't uh, mention um, is, uh, and I think you might have said this earlier, what's really nice too is uh, we know that in the cloud you can do cost optimization. Um, but uh, cost optimization, it takes a lot of paying attention to and a lot of attention. And um, uh, the, the folks at Accenture, the, uh, the, they, they explain to us what they would do, and it's great how your service provider is telling you how to save money. I just love that, you know? <laughs> exactly. that's, that's awesome, so. Yeah, right? You can yeah. do that for everyone, right? Yeah, no, but it's great, you know? There's so much you can do in the cloud, and to be able to leverage that, you know? So again, we could focus on our core competencies. It's just an excellent story, it's a good thing. So, excellent, yeah. excellent. And Michael, I mean, is that really sort of what you're always bringing to the table, is you focus on your core competencies we can take care of the right, rest. Right, so yeah, you think about the managed service and you know, how do you, it's not, so how, how do you um, allow you to do what you do, but also how do you de-risk the whole value prop, right? Because a lot of organizations honestly struggle 
with how to move to the cloud. And, and one of the things that Accenture's done, I'm not sure if you know, is we've moved our entire business to the public cloud. So we're 95% in the public cloud today. Right. And so I've made a lot of mistakes, all right? Uh, but we've taken all of those lessons learned and we've built that into our, our platform, our skills, our competencies, and now we can apply that. So Chris doesn't have to make the same mistake. You were your own guinea pig. Right, we, <laughs> yeah. we ate our own dog food, right? <laughs> yeah, I exactly. mean, so we, you know, because we figured early on, a number of years ago, that you, know, you can't really sell this stuff if you don't use this stuff. Right. And so that was you know, kind of a, an aha moment, I would say, at one of the reinvents like four years ago. We, we really have to go all in. Right? Um, we have to move our business so that we can learn you know, how to help others do it. And it's, it's thrilling, it yeah. really is, because you see that with organizations that are just starting today, right. that you know, they really don't know what they don't know. So, all right, call me. We will help you understand that, and we've structured this whole thing under this notion of journey to cloud, where we can apply that to your business, and, um, you know, you want to get there in a year, two years? We've done this with various organizations. Let's just move, let's get there. Stop right. the analysis paralysis yeah. and let's go. Yeah. That's the message. What will we be talking about at next year's Accenture uh, AWS Executive Summit? I mean, sort of when you think about ETS and the things that you're going to be able to accomplish faster sure. this, in the, this year and in the years to come, what do you, what do you, what's most exciting to you about wow. this? Well, I know That's from my question. side, I'm hoping that you guys are going to be saying, oh my goodness, ETS has become a lean, mean innovation machine. All right, you know? okay. That's what I want, yeah. you know? That's what I want to see, you know? That's great. Uh, yeah, and so I think that, I think with Accenture's help, and uh, you know, we're going to be there, so that's what I think you'll see. We're going to be one to watch along with Accenture, so absolutely. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. that's great. I mean, yeah. we, we love the fact that ETS wanted to come out, you know, at this event and say, this is what we're doing, right? I mean, you know, we're going to climb that mountain, we're going. I mean, so that's, I, I love that, right? And, you know, so, and to help others realize, yes, you can. Yeah, let's go do this. Right. And so here's, a, here's an organization, you know, 70 odd years old, right? Yep. Um, saying, no, we, we want, this guy sounds like a startup guy from the Valley. That's what we want. We want to become like a startup again. Yeah. You know, like we got to have that, right, have that, right, that, that right. enthusiasm, yeah, that the, the energy, right, right. Yeah. right? That's what we want to do. And he was yeah. talking about the cultural differences. Right. So everyone's yeah. feeling more creative and get the juices flowing and sharing ideas. Right. And, 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 and the yeah. ability to fail. 100%, yes. Right? You need to be able to fail faster and be okay with that, you know? It's a whole cultural change yes. too, you know? There was a lot in the traditional IT, everything back then, it's like, oh no, you know, right. you know, failure is, is failure, it's bad, you know? But no, we we're going to learn from it and everything, but we had, need to be able to do that faster yes. and learn from it. And so, uh, yeah, uh, startup mentality, lean, uh, being lean, being more innovative, yeah. So I, I want to go work there. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. It's <laughs> you know, an exciting time. Yeah, yeah. This is great. Yeah. Well, Chris and Michael, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. A really fun conversation. Oh, good. Thank you. Good. Thank good you. Here. These yes. are great questions. Yeah. Appreciate yes. it. Mm -hmm. I'm Rebecca Knight. We will have more from theCUBE's live coverage of the AWS Executive Summit here in Las Vegas coming up in just a little bit.